Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, today um, following up our Friday challenge from last week, uh, a user had this data here. They have uh, donations, uh, food donations that their departments are doing and they are tracking by department how much has been donated, how many people were in that department, how many people gave or did not give, what their average donation size was. Uh, so lots of different metrics and they weren't sure how they could represent this uh, successfully in a table or I'm sorry in an Excel chart and uh, they were struggling with how to add another uh, data point so um, we set this out as a Friday challenge and here's Don's answer he said let's keep it simple we're gonna create a stacked column chart we're gonna have a secondary series on a secondary axis um, that just represents the donation amount and then he wanted a table that shows the amounts that you have in there uh, so let me show you how Don went about making that and then I'll show you my solution as well let's move Don's off to the side and uh, so what Don did is he probably highlighted column A then he held his control key down and he highlighted column B he also highlighted then uh, the giving and not giving so that's E and F then he went up to his insert ribbon he went over to the column buttons here in the charts and he did a stacked column type all right so uh, there we have our our chart now uh, what you want to do is this total donation we want to move this to the secondary axis so let's go ahead and and just uh, change that it says format data series by right clicking on it we want to change it to the secondary axis all right uh, now uh, one thing Don did in his chart is he did change the uh, access here to be dollars uh, we can do that out here in the chart by highlighting column B picking the dollar sign in the number format and let's reduce the decimals down to a little bit and uh, now he also added a data table um, and so let's go ahead and add the data table so click in your chart anywhere go up to your design ribbon we're gonna do add a chart element and we're going to do a data table with legend keys is what he did there and so we've now got that as part of our chart let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see it uh, one other a uh, few other things that Don did is he did right click on the secondary access for the donation amounts and he's going to change the gap width down a ways let's change it down to like say 40 hit enter oops I'm going the wrong way we needed to do uh, 240 make it smaller let's make it even smaller let's do 340 and let's go all the way up to say 500 percent all right so now you can see uh, just what Don did there he's got a secondary series um, over on the secondary axis that's the total donations uh, persons who gave and persons who did not give is still a stacked bar chart the only other thing is he did remove the chart um, so uh, one other thing that Don did is uh, he did format his columns uh, to be a little bit nicer with some borders you can do that by right clicking on any of these do format data series go over to your fill options do your borders do a solid line and change it to black so he did that on each one of the series just did a solid line um, and he also changed the fill color of this series to be something like a light tan let's do some kind of orange so you can see that there as well all right one other thing that uh, Don did is he likes moving the secondary access over to the left hand side to do that what you need to do is you need to click on your chart go to your design ribbon do add chart element do an axis and do the secondary horizontal axis and then right here what we want to do is we want to right click on that secondary horizontal axis and do format access and we want to change vertical access crosses at and we want to say uh, zero when you do zero you'll notice it moves over to the left hand side now then you can go ahead and get rid of that secondary access and you've got your numbers over on the left hand side also we probably don't need this legend since we've got it in our data table we can hit delete there and now we have a pretty close representation to what Don did uh, now let's show you I did a very similar chart um, mine just has a few different data elements in there that um, is just slightly different than Don's uh, so let's go ahead and show you how I recreated this the few things instead of a column um, on the inside of the other columns I chose to do that as a line to show that these were dollars um, so you can just change that to secondary access and then change this chart type of this series to a line 
Also, I added in the percentage. Um, I've showed you this on a previous video where I added data labels. Let's go ahead and delete those. I'm going to click on that series. I'm going to go up to my design ribbon. I'm going to do add chart element, data labels, and we had more data label options. And in there, we have this thing that says value from cells. And so I want to actually show the participation percentage, not the number, and click on OK. Get rid of your other choices in the labels. And uh, so we've got, instead of the number value, we've got the percentage there. And then also I have the dollar value added as labels on top of my line chart. So very similar chart to what uh, Don did. Hopefully you found this helpful in creating your own charts and seeing different ways that you can look at data and create your own dashboard elements in Excel. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at exceldashboardtemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.